Hello people, I'm going to be showing you how to make Call of Duty <clears throat> Modern Warfare 2 guns including the Mini Uzi, M16, AK-47, Sniper Rifle, RPG-7, and a shotgun with grenade launcher attachment, red dot sight, and heartbeat sensor. Okay, we'll start with the Mini Uzi. It's going to look like this. It has a removable clip here, which is really just a wrench and then there's a handle and a stock okay uh, to start off you're gonna need this hammer axe sort of thing you can take that and then you're gonna put one of these robot claws oh, let's see if I can get it. robot claws as far back as you can on there. Then you take a cylinder piece and one of these bionicle pieces and you put them together and you slide that onto the hammer but not all the way not all the way back. Then you just take one of these wrench pieces put it on the back there and then push it all the way so it's nice and tight just like that. That's the menu. Then the M16. I think it looks really cool. Handle. There's the clip that can come off, but it's kind of hard to take it off. But anyway, to start off, you need just a black stick and one of these hook pieces and. Stick it on there. Not all the way back, not in the middle, you know. Just, you know. Then you take a regular gun piece and put it on here. And then you slide the hook back as close to the gun as you can. Then you just take a little Lego gas hand and put it as close to the hook piece as possible with making sure that the hand sticks out like that. Then you simply just take a cylinder piece, slide it on as far back as you can, and there's your M16. Now for the, the AK. It doesn't really look like an AK, but if you use your imagination it does. Looks like that. Use like the sight, you know, stock. Very simple. This is probably the easiest gun on this whole video. Start off with the handle, one of these circle pieces with a thing on it like that. Stick that right on there. Now the cylinder, preferably brown because AK is mostly wood. This little hose piece like that right on there. Okay, now for the sniper rifle. I think it looks really good like binoculars here clip and things you know okay it's a little more complicated just gonna take it all apart okay start off with the handle as always then one of these hook pieces that goes like that and you want to put it sideways on the handle like up on diagonal so sort of like that and on that you put a pair of binoculars as a scope then if you take one of these sticks you put another hook piece like on the M16 and you put it as far back as you can then you take two of these robot hands put them as close to that on there so it's sort of like the stains then you take this bionicle piece put it on the end Whoa. Oh, damn. this piece is always hard to get on
Okay, now once you get that, you just stick it on there, and you got a sniper rifle. Now for the RPG-7. I kind of made this one on my own, sort of. Well, they're all on my own, but you know. So, it might not really look like one. But it's pretty simple. Now for the RPG head itself, just simply a cup and a triangle go together. Simply. Now for this part, a gun, like that, a lightsaber handle, oh, there we go, we put those two together, and a hammer, like that, for the stock, and put it together, RPG-7. Now for the shotgun, really, I just thought it looked like one. It looked like, I'm not sure what it's called in the games, like the M4A0 or something, shotgun, but simply just that. You can get in pretty much any Indiana Jones set. The new Toy Story sets, you can get two green ones, you know. Now for the attachments. Grenade launcher. I think is the best. Oh, and there it goes, okay, it's just simply another hook piece. And the cylinder piece put together. And if you put it on the bottom of the M16, it looks just like the grenade launcher attachment. Okay, take that off now. Now, these two I don't think are really the best, but for the heartbeat sensor, it's simply another one of those hook pieces with a blue stud on it. And you can stick that on the side here. Or you can try to move all the pieces forward and put it right there or something for the heartbeat sensor. And the red dot sight is the same thing but with a red stud. Same thing, red stud. And you put it like... So... Oh, that doesn't go there. Okay. And for those of you who played the game, I don't want to spoil for anyone who hasn't, but if you know the Shadow Company, those soldiers, I tried to make my own, and here's what I got. I got two of these guys, they're exactly the same. They've got the masks around the face so you can only see their eyes, and all that. And yeah, so tell me what you think of those guys, if they really look like the actual shadow company. <coughs> and then, tell me what you think of my Nazi zombie house. This is my first review on it while well, I'm showing you guys. This is the first room. If you can sort of look closely, here are the stairs and this thing right here is the couch that needs to be moved and here are more stairs. Then here's the first window with the bars right here. Then over here is the second window. And then I haven't put anything up for this window. Then there's this window and this one over right here and then I'm gonna make the other room with the uh, mystery box <coughs> yeah and for those of you who know my Lego Star Wars base well it's all gone all destroyed put into that yeah oh and also here's a flamethrower if you guys think you can build it Tell me what you think of it. Comment, whatever. Tell me what you think of my Shadow Company, Nazi Zombie House, and Flamco. And if you have anything, if you have some better Modern Warfare 2 guns that you think would be, you know, better, uh, put me a video, send me something, or any better Modern Warfare people, you know, anything you think would be better, send me. <coughs> okay, see.